What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are back again playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 8. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an absolute amazing team for you guys today. We got ourselves a weakness policy Palkia team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. And shout out to my boy Jan for dropping this team. It's looking amazing. You guys know Palky is one of my favorite legendaries. I think I throw him in my top three category, so I'm hyped for this one. Rocking out in our front spot, starting off in that top left corner. We got Amoongus over here. Nice little support mod with a regenerator ability and black sludge so we're gonna get HP at the end of every turn and if we swap him back into our party. We got Rage Powder on him, Sludge Bomb for Stab, Giga Drain for Stab, and Spore to put other Pokemon to sleep. Right next to him, we got Landorus with Intimidate and that Choice Scarf. Normal moveset for this thing, I don't really need to explain it. It's going to drop Physical Attack, it's going to be a great Mon all around. Behind our face cam is the one and only Palkia with Pressure Ability and the Weakness Policy as his item. It is Water and Dragon type, which is absolutely amazing. There's not many of them in the game. So with that typing, Ice is not super effective to us, which is solid. That is amazing for a Dragon type. We got Spatial Ren, which is his signature move, and it is Stab Dragon. We also got Hydro Pump, which is Stab, Ice Beam for our coverage, and Trick Room as a little bit of team synergy that I will go over when I go over the last Pokemon. Right next to him, we got Metagross as another great meta Pokemon. We got Steel and Psychic as a typing. Clear Body with that Assault Vest to make it a bit more tankier. Bullet Punch for first turn priority. Meteor Mash and Zed Headbutt for our big stab moves. And then our coverage move is going to be Earthquake. Bottom left corner is going to be in another support mod with Comfy, Triage ability, Babiri Berry so we can actually eat up a Steel type move, Draining Kiss, Floral Healing, Alley Switch, and Trick Room. He's going to be able to proc Palkia's uh, weakness policy and keep healing it up with Floral Healing so it stays in the battle longer. And then our final spot is Lipart over here, and Lipart can do a lot on the scene. It can get in, get first turn fake out, it has foul play for physical attackers, it has snarl to drop special attackers, and it also has copycat. And what copycat can allow us to do, say there is a point in the match, or at the start of the match, where I don't want to lead Palkia and Comfy for some reason. I can go Palkia and Lipart, go into a max guard with Palkia with the trick room, and then just copycat whatever Pelkey is doing, and get off a free first turn trick room because of Prankster. So that's a little team synergy there. Hopefully we get to show it off. If not, at least I got to talk about it. But guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on to that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Palkia team. First battle coming at you guys, and this guy has a Calyrex Ice Rider alongside with Trick Room Sakataka team. He can go many different ways. He also has the Sun on his team, so he can go into Trick Room with Sakataka, he can roll out with Calyrex, or he can go in with the Sun with the Venusaur. So, a lot of different options he has. Um, should I leave the Comfy Palkia? I'm kind of liking that. I'm kind of I'm digging it. Or I can actually go. He does have Indeedy. So do I lead Lipard? He does have a few special attackers. Hmm. I think we're just gonna lead these two. I think we bring in Metagross, or no, I think I bring in Landorus for sure because he has a few physical attackers as well, like the uh, the Calyrex, the Thunderous, and the Sakataka. I think Sakataka is physical attacking. Then the final spot, do I bring Metagross as a back end? Metagross isn't bad. He really isn't. I do like I do like him here. Let's get rolling with it. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. I'm liking a Comfy Palkia lead, and then having two strong back end Pokemon's. We got the. Uh, a soul fest metagross and then we have that intimidate landers hopefully can come out at good times drop physical attack and just be an absolute beast for a squad but yeah like i was saying in the beginning of the video palkia is one of my top three favorite legendaries i think it's a uh, palkia kyogre and who else did i really like i i don't even know there was somebody who i really really liked and i'm just totally drawing a blank here ah hopefully i can figure it out one day <laughs> He's going to lead Calyrex and the Indeedy, so he can go into... So we can't fake out, which uh, that's why I didn't bring the live part. I figured he was going to maybe lead the Indeedy, or at least bring it. Is he going to Dynamax the uh, the Calyrex? I'm definitely Dynamaxing the Palkia, and I'm going to get after him. The pressure is dropping. Indeedy's Psychic Surge is popping. Is anybody holding the seeds? Probably Indeedy's going to hold seeds, if I had to guess. Over the Calyrex, let's see. No, just no seeds in general. No seeds in general, so I can just go into a nice little Draining Kiss. Cause this will come out before the follow me, which is wonderful. And then I'm just gonna go for old oh, you know, Spatial Rent's dope. I gotta read it. These are tiers to target along with the space around the critical hits land more easily. That's crazy, but we're gonna Dynamax and we're gonna get after his Calyrex slot. I mean, does he have any fairy typing? I don't think he does. No, he has no fairy, so that's good. So I I'm just gonna drop the Spatial Rent, not Spatial Rent, a Max Roman so I can get the attack drop onto the Calyrex. And I'm gonna proc card policy and roll from there. Let's hopefully he goes. Like, I wouldn't mind if he goes for follow me. That would kind of just be a waste of a turn. 
unless he just doesn't want his Calyrex to get hit. Because uh, Draining Kiss will come out before because of the triage ability we get the first turn priority, which is absolutely amazing. We're going to get buzzing with him. Bang. Big old Palkia. Yo, he looks so dope. He's looking so dope. Absolutely love this guy. Absolutely love this guy. Draining Kiss comes out here. Give me that policy. Give me my policy. Bang, yo. Procking. We procking. Plus two on both. And then I can just start floor healing and going from there. He's going to drop a follow me. Yep. Okay. That's totally fine. I think Palkia should be able to outspeed that Calyrex. Right? Yeah. So we're going to be able to get off a, a nice little attack drop. He is a physical attacker before he actually makes a move. Big damage. I'll be able to go into another draining kiss and take out that NDE next turn. But I'm not too worried about that. Not too worried about that. Just a nice big attack drop, and I wonder what he's going to do here. I wonder what you're going to do, kind sir. He's going to go for a Trick Room. Okay. I could buzz with another Trick Room. I could, which I might do next turn. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take you out. I am going to drop the next slot. Do I drop water? Do I get some water buzzing here? What other Pokemon do I have? I know he has a Torkoal. Uh, I think water's fine for me. Or I can just get off another worm one. In case he swaps or something along those lines. Yeah, I'm just gonna worm one. I don't want him going for another follow me and eating that up, up that shot. Now I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna go for the geyser. I'm gonna set the, the rain. It is base 140 as well, so we're gonna drop this over on the Calyrex slot. You get rolling from there. You're gonna go for another follow me. He's just gonna go for a helping hand. So I was going to uh, drop ice, but then it wouldn't have been super effective, so it would have been dumb anyway. In case comes out. Oh my lord, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Jeez, Comfy. Comfy can't do anything. I'm just gonna have to floral healing and roll from there. At least we do get to take out the Calyrex here. At least we are able to take out the Calyrex. That's nice. Alright, so Calyrex is gonna go down. Beautiful Palkia is buzzing. I'm gonna heal him up. Or should I ally switch? Can go either way. But can go either way. We do take that out. Um, we just have Trick Room. I could try to pull off a Trick Room and cancel that out. But at the same time, we do have Metagross in the back, who's a little slower. I'm gonna send out Sakataka now. And in that case, I think I might just Trick Room and try to cancel that out. Let's see if I can pull this off. Trick Room. And just roll into a Geyser over onto the Sakataka slot. Yeah, I think that's a play. I think that's a play. Even if Indeedee goes for a follow me. I'm fine with that. But say, he's gonna Dynamax here. Say if we can get off this Trick Room, that'd be huge. Because this is what I'm thinking. This is really what I'm thinking is going to happen. I'm thinking he's going to follow me this turn. And I think he's going to take a shot at my Palkia. And then that leaves my Comfy staying alive. And we get off a trick. And if we can get off that trick room, that will actually change tides a lot. That would be huge for us. That would be pretty big for us. I still have Intimidate that can pop out here. This thing is very defensive bulky. He might not start boosting his defense. So we have two physical attackers. Yeah. Okay. So Comfy is going to be able to get off a trick room, which is huge. It's going to be huge. Gonna be able to drop a rock ball. Which the buffets will take out my copy, but Palkia should be able to eat this up, right? No, it does not. What you mean? What you mean? Comfy is gonna go down. Trick room is gonna uh, pop here. Which is nice. Pretty lovely. And buffets are gonna take out NDD as well. Okay, so we'll be able to cancel out Trick Room. We'll take speed advantage back. Pretty nice. Beast boost is going to start boosting his defense. This thing is getting bulky. It's getting real bulky. We cancel this out. We say, hey. Trick room, slow your roll there, buddy. Then, yeah, you cannot have any more turns. Buff is going to take out my Comfy and the Indeedee. All right. That's fine. That is totally fine. I am getting out of my Landris for an Intimidate, which, which is going to be nice. It's going to be nice. I do have my Choice Scarf as well, which I might just choice into a Fly. I might just choice into a Fly at this point. Dep depends what Pokemon he sends out. It really does depend what Pokemon he sends out, because he's going to try to drop a Rock on me. And I think I just fly, dodge a turn, and try to get some damage off. Let's see what he goes into. Who's your final mon? Torkoal. Okay, it's going to be Torkoal. And this is actually really good, so we know we outspeed them all. Intimidate's popping. I'm choicing into a move, so... Hmm. I would love to choice into an EQ. I really would, but I can't. It's going to be super effective on my Metagross. I think it's super effective on everybody. If I had Protect, I would be fine with it. Like, yo, I could totally just start dropping EQs, man. Look at this. I don't have protect. I think I got to fly here. If I fly, I dodge a turn, right? I don't want to proc policy. I actually could 
I really want to, but I'm thinking of just dropping a Meteor Mash. He might protect. Hmm. What I want to do here? What does Jeans want to do here? Good Zen Headbutt. I'm thinking of Zen Headbutting. Everyone here. Yeah, we're going for that. We have to get the circle out of the way. He might protect, but he does, yo. What you mean? God, man. Alright. I'm with this. This is fine. Hopefully, hopefully he tries to drop a rock on my Landorus. That's what I'm hoping. Then headbutt comes through, it gets blocked. Drop a rock on my lander slot. Drop a rock on my lander slot. He goes for a steel spike on the lander slot. Okay, cool. Okay, so turns aren't over yet. Um, I could feel free to drop another Zen headbutt. Hmm. What's going to go down here? That's a fact. The Landers is going to die here. It's going to be Landers versus uh, Metagross. I think this one's going to be really close. Fly comes out. You'll get after him. And hopefully Zen Headbutt can pick up the KO. If not, hopefully we can get the flinch. Let's see what happens here. Come on, KO it. No! Give me the flinch. I need to flinch. He erupts. Okay, that's not going to do a lot. That's not going to do a lot. Because he went for eruption over Heat Wave. I dig it. I'm with it. And he's gonna go for a knuckle here. He's gonna boost attack stat. So if we can eat this up, we should be chilling. Yes, that is beautiful. Uh no, I'm choice to a fly. I am choice to a fly. Um what is play here? Take out Torkoal or I mean I could EQ. I could EQ. EQ is a fine move to do. I have to cho I'm choice to a fly, so it's gonna be my play. I am gonna fly here and I am going to drop an earthquake. Do I drop an Earthquake? Yeah. I think I dropped an Earthquake. But we're definitely flying here. We're definitely dipping out here. Hopefully he doesn't think we're flying again. I think he gets pulls off. Torkoal is going to protect. That's totally fine. And we're going to dip out here. Fly. Torkoal will be dead next turn. And I think I'm proccing policy here. This thing's definitely weak this policy. Hopefully Sakataka does go after uh, the what's called? The lander slot? That'd be big. He's plus one on attack. Oh, and he's he's not weak this policy. That's, that's nice. He does have a Shuka Berry. He is rocking out with the Shuka Berry. Fly will take out Torkoal next turn. And he's going to go for a Rock Slide. Landers gets a dodge. And Metagross should be able to eat this up, no problem. Oh, this one's a good match. This is a good match right here. Okay, so Fly 100% comes out, picks up the KO onto the Torkoal. I go for the Flinch, but I think I should go for a Meteor Mash. And try to do as much damage as I can over onto the slot. Let's get after it. He's probably going to try to drop another Rock Slide. Maybe Landers can eat it up. I actually don't think so. I don't know. This one's a good match. This is a good match right here. Sakataka might clutch it up for him. I got my I got my boys in the back. Sakataka's going to protect. That's a fine turn by me. But Landers is going to be able to fly up again and dodge a move and be able to get off a free shot onto the Sakataka. Even though it's not going to do as much damage, that's still nice. That's still very nice. Torkoal gone. Meteor Mash is going to do nothing. I'm just going to try to Meteor Mash on him again to get my attack boost. And I'm going to fly up there again. I'm just I'm just twisting to this fly right now. I feel like I had to. If not, what's called would have been dead. All day. Oh, do I EQ? I might just EQ here. Even though it's not stab. Still doing a decent amount of damage. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go for an earthquake. A Shukaberry uh ate up half of that, so if I get off one more EQ after this or one more move, I think we should be fine. Earthquake's gonna come out here. Manus avoids it. It's going to land on you. How much damage are we really going to do on this thing? Solid amount of damage. Beautiful. Right, so if Metagross eats, we win. Metagross is going to eat that all day. That's GG. That is GG, yo. Your boy getting started solid. Getting started solid with this Palkia team. We showed off Dynamax and him. Procking out weakness policy. Rolling out, doing a lot of damage. And we actually played really, really well with our Comfy in order to uh, change up the Trick Room. Back to our speed, so we were first turn priority. And then choice into the fly, so he couldn't hit us. Battle number one canceled. Let's go, guys. I'm not liking this one bit, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is one of the top tier Series 8 ranked teams right here. Kyogre rain teams alongside with Tornados, they're unstoppable. They are really, really strong. Hopefully, we can pick up this win in battle number two. He has the Tornados and Kyogre, like I said, alongside with Incineroar, Indeedee, Regilecki, and Robum. So, it covers a lot of my team. He really does. Uh, who should I go into? Hmm. I kind of want to lead Lipard, considering he has a special attack in Kyogre. 
and that Regilecki, so I'm going to lead Light Park. I don't want to bring Palkia. I might want to lead Palkia, because we got that rain. And if he goes rain, we can kind of buzz with that. We're kind of with that. And not proc and policy, we might have to Dynamax the uh, Metagross this turn and go into Landorus later. Let's have a Fake Out, which I should be able to, uh, Light Park should be able to outspeed for the Fake Out, right? Let's check the team's speed. Let's check the squad's speed. No, 173, yeah, Light Park's way faster. Amoogus, uh, 157. Palkia's mid-tier speed with, like, 108 and 90. So I could roll a Trick Room if I really want to, but I think this might be the play. And say he does go into Indeedee, I can just Snarl up and roll from there. And he'll have Spatial Ren, too, which I absolutely love that move. Cannot wait to show it off. Hopefully, we get to show it off. This just at least the, the animation. Like, it, it's so cool. I haven't seen it in forever. I think since Diamond and Pearl. But I remember when I got it. I was like, oh, this move's so sick. That and more of time. Because those were, like, when, uh... Signature moves kind of first started making their way onto the scene. Like each Pokemon or each new legendary had like their signature move. It was awesome. Let's see. Who, who you gonna lead? He's going to lead uh maybe Incineroar. Let's see. Okay, so these two. He's gonna lead these two boys. So he's fine. So no fake out coming out from us. Uh, I could snarl. I think I might just drop a special Ren. I'll try to drop a big old crit on somebody. I think that's the play. Valkyrie's pressure and psychic surge is pop. Okay. That's fine. I wonder what he really is going to do here. I really do. Hmm. That'll feel getting weird. And he's gonna pop his seeds. We're gonna get after it. We're gonna get after it. I could snarl. Could foul play as well, which probably I am just gonna straight up foul play onto you. And then I'm going to uh drop a special run. I'm gonna drop a special run here. Let's get right after it. I'm not gonna die to Maxim. I might swap. Let's see what it is. He's he's just gonna go straight for a follow me. Uh that's fine. I wonder what he's doing with Tornadas. Okay, Tailwind. I can't trick him. I think I might trick him next turn then. Foul play's gonna come out here. And Special Wrench should be able to pick up the KO after this. Actually, I thought Foul Play would do a little bit more, but this thing's special attacking. Special Wrench coming out. Oh, baby. Ooh! Look at that! Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. And it gets a crit. And it gets a crit. That move's so dope. Okay, so he is Tailwind up. Um, I might Copycat and Dynamax. I might do that little team synergy that I was saying. Max guard here. Because we are Sash, so we might drop Kai over here. Yeah. Yeah. Cha, dude. We're just gonna drop Kai over here. Okay. Alright, jeans. Uh I think we copycat onto I think I just copycat straight up, right? Then I just Dynamax and guard. I think that's how it works. That's how the creator was telling me. I think that's how I think that's how we're gonna buzz. I think that's how we're gonna do it. They might just water spout onto me. Which is fine, we're we're sash, but life part should go first and change up the trick room. We get the Dynamax off. I can start rolling from there. And I do have rain now. Rain is on Palkia's side. Rain is a friend of Palkia's because we are part water. I can take out the Tornado's uh, no problem. Which I, and then I can start Snarl. And I can just start Snarling and rolling from there. Hopefully he's going after the Palkia slot. That would be just gorgeous. But just say, I just need one Pokemon to go after Palkia slot. Because I, like I said, I'm Sash. And then I get off a Snarl next turn. Which will drop Kyogre's special attack. Be huge for us and we can roll from there. But yo, Spatial Rain's dope. Considering you, get, uh, you can land crits really easily. Just like that. And we just took out that NDD really, really easy. Here goes my Dynamax. Hopefully, I'm using this right. Because if everything goes right, we should set up a Trick Room here. Could help out Palkia. Or at least three turns, because he just got off that Tailwind. Or at least the rest of our Dynamax turns. And then we have Metagross and, uh... We have, did we bring Landers in the back? Or did we bring somebody else? I totally forget. I know we brought Metagross. So we're guarding. We're saying, hey, yo, here's a block. Here's a beautiful little block. Here goes a Copycat. Get after us. We're going copycat now. And it should work right. Yes! Yes! Oh my lord. Let's go. Let's go. Max Lightning. Block. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. We're going to snarl here. Hurricane. Yo, get out of my face. I'm not dealing with you. We're going to be able to snarl here. I'm gonna, I am going to be able to take out the, uh, what's called as well. The Landers. With the Geyser. I'm not dealing with this. Or do I go with the Worm one? No, we're going to take out you with the Geyser. And I'll be able to special my next turn because 
I am now slower than you guys, which means I'm fastest because we do have Trick Room rolling. He's going to guard. We make a perfect call here. We're buzzing. We're buzzing. See ya later. See ya later, Landorus. Or uh, Thunderous. Or no, Tornadus. Yo, the plays. The plays. I knew this thing was Sash too. That's why I snarled and then went to the guys over there. Beautiful. Beautiful jeans. Yeah, dude, I'm playing so good. <laughs> that was that was one of my best plays I ever made. Right there. That copycat play into the trick room. And now we got this one pretty much wrapped up. Palky is so good. He's so good. He hits like a truck too. I'm gonna go into a snarl and then I'm just gonna go into another spatial man. We'll be able to buzz from there and roll out. He goes into Regilecki. And then oh the snarl's gonna be even better here. It's gonna be even better here. Uh do I warm moon? I'm just gonna geyser. Finish off this Regilecki. Actually, Regilecki could protect. Now nah, we gotta get rid of this Regilecki now. He's gonna do some work on the me. He's gonna do some work and he just cancels battle. Yo, let's get it. Yo, that was so dope. That was so dope. Amazing battle for battle number two. We sweep and dominate, and now we can head to our third and final battle and look for a perfect record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. That last battle was absolutely amazing. I can't believe we just swept with that Palkia and Lipard combo, and we got to show off the Trick Room copycat synergy as well. But we're going up against yet another Kai Ogre team, but this one looks a little bit different considering he has Landers, Cinderace, Togedemaru, uh, Sigleth, and uh, Serena over here. So, looking a little scary because you guys already know Togedemaru is an absolute beast. He can nestle up and kind of just pester around. Uh, who do I want to lead? Who do I want to go into? Um, he has a few, a few physical attackers, so Landers is going to be a back-end Pokemon for us, for sure. Uh, I can see him leading Togedemaru, which again, I don't really like at all. He does scare me a lot. I could lead Lipard and fake him out and kind of get after it from there. I could go Lipard Palkia. I'm kind of liking that. I, I really am digging that. If I can go into a fake out, I can do a lot there. Landers, again, back end Pokemon. And then I go Metagross. Is this the same team I kind of brought in every single time? Except for we don't really bring in a Moongus. Moongus is more for like certain situations. I think we're fine with this one. I'm really liking it. Yeah, first match we brought in uh, uh, Palkia, Comfy, Metagross, and Landorus. And then. The uh, second end this match is going to be the live part, Palkia, Metagross, and Landers. I really do like the team. The team is awesome. It really is. It's really cool. But Palkia just rocks out in so many instances, especially his typing is phenomenal. It really is. And it's water too, so it's going to go well up against the Cinderace. Who's he going to lead? He's going to lead the Sigleth and the uh, Serena over here. Okay. So we could roll a Trick Room. I'm going to go live part, Palkia. I can get off a uh, nice little fake out here on whoever I want. Actually, I cannot. I think it's Queenly Majesty. I'm remembering that. Palkia's gonna exert some pressure. Um, okay. I can snarl, I can copycat, I can foul play, which I am going to foul play. Mmm, I'll run to you. And I might just drop an ice beam. Hmm. I might drop an ice beam, but I kinda wanna. I don't wanna drop a nice little spatial run. I'm gonna go for a spatial run. Yo, we got Palkia out here. We're dropping spatial red. We'll play around here. We do not play around. Let's get after it. Maybe we should have swapped into my Lando slot. That could have been better. My Foul Plate's gonna come out here. How much damage are we really gonna do? Yeah, see, I didn't think we were gonna do too, too much. Maybe I should have took out the Sigla. He's gonna Tailwind. Alright, I, I think I'm gonna guard next turn and set a Trick Room up. Might be the play. Player Off's gonna come out here. Live Part of Voids. That's beautiful. Spatial Rent's gonna come out here and do some nice damage. Getting after it. Yo, give me a crit. Show me a crit. No crit, but big damage. Big damage. Okay. So we just have a Tailwind off. I think I just go for the Copycat now. I say we do it again. You give me no reason not to do it again. I'm going for it. It's just saying I can take out a Pokemon next turn and then have another turn for a Dynamax. Okay. So we're, we're playing. We are going to rock this Trick Room. We're going to rock this Trick Room 100%. Because you're setting up a Tailwind. when I really don't want him to have a Speed Advantage. Oh, I'm really like... I didn't think I was going to use this uh this combo. But it's coming. It's working out perfectly for this team. We're working out so perfectly. Dynamax Palkia for third time in a row. He's our main man. He's our main guy. We're showing him off. He's dominating. We're guarding here. He's probably like, yo, okay, thanks for the guard. I'm just like, hey, yo, we got a little bit something up our sleeve here. Do a front flip and say, hey, let me put some mirrors around the room and trick you up. <laughs> I love how Lightfire just does like a nice little front flip. He's like, yeet, get out of my face. Later, I'm come out here. I don't care if you really go down now. We are sashed. Which is wonderful. Hopefully we can get off one more turn with this thing. What happens? Hypnos gonna come out here. Blah, get him out. Okay, he's gotta go. You're first on my agenda. You are first on my agenda. I'm gonna foul play, see if I can pick up a KO on you. 
And I am going to drop a geyser. I think geyser should be able to pick up the here. Let's see. Hopefully we can pick up this double kill. That'd be nice. Because again, they should be faster than both of us. Even though Lightpart's at like 170, 180 speed. Green's gonna protect. Okay, that's better. That's fine. Are, are you double protecting? He is not. The guys are gonna come out here. Guys are gonna pick up this KO on here. And get off another shot on uh, the next Pokemon that comes out with a max move. And a uh, a play rough should be able to take out Serene because she's a physical attacker. So it does more to people with higher attack. Which is wonderful. Which is just dandy. Foul play. Blah. That's totally fine. And then we're buzzing with this Shrikram. He's just trying to roll with speed here. Maybe he'll play Cinderace? Maybe. We have the rain rolling. Who are you bringing out, buddy? He's going to bring out Togi. And Togi is going to fake me out. It's tough news. But I am going to have to do some work up against Togi tomorrow here. So I'm just going to go for a... I guess I'll go for a geyser. Yeah, we'll go for a geyser. Because he's definitely going to fake me out. It's got to be the play, right? Yeah. Sorry, Lipard. You're gone. You're gone, Lipard. You're gone. You're out of here. But we're still buzzing with the trickering, which I really, really like. Which I really, really like. You guys are going to come out here. Probably bring this thing down to a sash. Right? Oh, no sash on this thing. No sash. Get that thing out of here. I'm not playing around anymore. We're just play rough. That's fine. It's easy eats. Thanks for uh, policy proc. And I'm going to come out with Landorus now. Bringing out Lando. I'm bringing out Lando, baby. Tailwind Peter's out, but still. We're. Oh, their Tailwind does Peter out. Ooh. Your choice. I kind of want to bring out Metagross now. Actually, I might just U turn. I would rather U turn. If it's a physical attacker. Let's see. It's gonna be Kyogre. Okay. Uh, I think I just U turn here. He's gonna Dynamax U. I am gonna have to go for a Wormwind over on that slot. Or not even a Wormwind. A, uh. Oh, what's it called? A special Ren I might go for. Yeah, I have to. Special Ren's reply. I still think Kyogre or. It's called it's slower than all them. I'm just gonna U turn over on the U. Hopefully, we can land that and then just drop a nice big special run over onto the Kyogre slot. Try to do as much damage as we can. I think Palkia is slowest. I think Palkia will go first here. Maybe he guards, maybe he doesn't. But this one's gonna be a close one. This one's gonna be a real close one now. We have our policy back. If I get off of at least one special run, we should be thriving here. But he did bring the Kyogre. Rain's already set for him. I think he's going to try to go out and get after my Palkia slot. Let's see what he does. Let's see what his play is. What's your choice? Special Rain does come out first. Big damage. Big, big damage there. Triple Axe is going to come out here. And hopefully it only lands like twice. Okay, stop it now. It lands all three times. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Gets all three hits. Takes out you. And, uh, ooh. We might go down here. We might go down here. Is he going Lightning? He's going to Lightning. Eat this up. Eat this up, buddy. Yo, your tank. Your tank. Yes, sir. I think we have one more turn left in Trick Room, which is huge. Which is huge. If we do, we win this game, right? We should, right? I'm thinking we do. I think we have, we have one or two more turns left. Because that was his first turn out of Dynamax, and we used it, and we used Trick Room first turn in Dynamax. But we definitely have speed advantage all day. I could bullet punch if I want, but again, I know we're slower. I know we're slower. We do have one more turn trick, and that is wonderful. He might protect here. Um, if that's the case, I'll bullet punch next turn. He might double protect. I can totally see that happen. But I'm going to Meteor Mash, make sure we pick up the KOs, and I am going to drop a, another special land. So if he doesn't double protect, that's easy double kill for the win, right? Meteor Mash comes out. Yo, dude, that's GG. We just won this game. Let's go. 3-0 with Palkia. Oh, my lord. This team is phenomenal. This team is phenomenal. Special man to pick up the KO. That's GG's. That's GG's, man. This team is fire. It is so good. It is so good. And that copycat into the Max Guard Trick Room is amazing.
Ladies and gentlemen, I did not think we were going to do that good with this team. We went 3-0, got ourselves a perfect record, and absolutely dominated. The first battle, we went with the Comfy and Palkia combo, triggered our own weakness policy, dominated from there. Second battle, we went Live Part and Palkia, used the Copycat, Max Guard, Trick Room combo, rolled out from there, got the clean sweep, and third and final battle, we did that exact same thing, just without the sweep. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.